Stewart Design is a local interior design firm who specializes in designing for our senior community. And here to tell us more is Stephanie Stewart. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This is great that you are educating people. Uh, you are telling people, you're letting people know, you're like wanting them to call you about, <laughs> of course, interior design for our seniors because it's a lot different than what we would do for the younger you know, generation, younger adults, whatever, how we want to say it because of colors, and this is very cool we're gonna talk about, but let's talk about your, your design you know, firm first. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for over 15 years, and when I started my own firm, I knew that I wanted to specialize in senior living. I started out my career at an internship at a senior living um, design firm, and I had, didn't know anything about it. When I left there, I went through doing a few different things, and then when I started my own company, I came back to senior living. Yeah, uh, which is so amazing. We're gonna talk about this um, because it's so important that people understand. When you go into uh, a senior living home mm -hmm. or into your parents' home, you're going, wow, this place looks so boring and so <laughs> kind of like, you know, crazy and everything. Like, why is this so? But there's a really good reason why, and let's talk about that, right. and that's because of the colors, right? Right. So as we age, our eyes, our lens yellows over time. And so when we're designing for senior living, we want to pay special attention to what colors we're using to make sure that we have the proper contrast to stay safe. And the whole purpose of specializing in interior design for senior living is to keep people active and healthy and independent for as long as possible. Yeah. And so. the big thing is our sight is right. what we're talking about yes. here. because. You know, as we say with little babies, they always say, put like, you know, black and white, mm -hmm. put, you know, very um, like basic colors. Mm -hmm. Don't try to brighten up the room. Right. So funny. That's why people are like, well, why are you painting the room pink? The baby's yeah. not going to know it when <laughs> exactly. it, you know, why are you painting it blue? Paint yeah. it these colors. Yeah. So with seniors, you are saying that with glasses, right? Yes. So I have these glasses as an example of how our eyes uh, yellow over time and so you can see that colors will show up differently so if you put on your glasses which I've been passing out all over the valley. I know you have been. Yeah I've been passing these out all over the valley for people to take a look at how colors change so in senior living design wow. we don't want to use pastels because they all blend together and yeah. then there's no contrast to help people have these visual cues between where the floor ends and the wall starts for yeah. example. And, and, so, and, and before you, we're gonna put them on one of our cameras so you guys can see what we're looking at kind of and if you look through the lens you see and you can see the difference you look on each side how you know bright it looks on each different way and so with these on mm -hmm. you kind of like can really see and, and move the colors what you need to have in the right place right right and so you want to attract to maybe the adult children that are helping people decide which community to move into but you also want to make sure that the community is attractive when people and residents get there so they want to stay yeah. so we don't like to use purple because purple turns out muddy you might see somebody in the grocery store a senior woman might have purple hair and you might think oh wow she's found herself right she wants fashion color now but she might think I think her hair is brown. Uh, and so that's what happens. <laughs> and so and you've gotten that from an eye doctor because that's what's so right. great about your design firm is that it's not just you sitting there. You've actually talked to doctors. Right. You've talked to eye doctors. You've talked to seniors about what works and what doesn't yes, work. Yes, and so we study with gerontologists. We have the Center for Healthcare Design, and there are a number of organizations that study solution-based design and evidence-based design to marry those healthcare, the technical things that we use in healthcare, with what we do in residences. Yeah, and, and you still can have those great-looking places mm -hmm. um, instead of just having the, you know, the throw pillow that's blah. You're right. And that's why you come to you, because you can help people find those soft colors that are going to work for them. Yes. And and one other thing about colors and contrast, another simple way that people can, can use this at home, not only with just specific colors, is they can make sure that there's contrast. So if you want to help to prevent falls, make sure that when you're selecting a countertop material that it is in contrast to the flooring material. So that if someone's losing their balance and they reach out to grab something, they'll grab the countertop, they won't miss it because of their depth perception. Wow, that's amazing. I never even thought about that. That's so incredible. Well, I know you are excited for people to give you a call to talk more about this because you want to educate people on that, mm -hmm. especially those who are having to put mom and dad in the home or who are helping mm -hmm. design mom and dad's right. new home, even their guest house or even the house they're moving into with them. 
Yes. It's so important. So how 100%. can people get a hold of you? Well, people can get a hold of us on social media. We are on Instagram and LinkedIn everywhere at Stuart Design Co. And it's S-T-U-A-R-T, -T, Stuart Design Co. And then follow us to see what we're doing. We are starting a podcast simply called Interior Design for Senior Living to educate designers, architects, senior living communities, and people. That's awesome. Well, yeah. thank you very much for coming in, Stephanie, and, and educating us, and especially the glasses. It was amazing to see that. So, thank you. Thank you.